The, the difference between soil and dirt is that dirt is just soil that's in the wrong place. And historically, I think for some of these, you know, uh, ultra high vacuum beam lines, they would have looked at soils as, as dirt, that they didn't belong in that location. And that's been a, a bit of a challenge at a lot of facilities because one of their main mantras is to keep them clean. And you, you know, you have a good societal question, you have a good reason that you're doing it, but then when you bring your sample to the Beamline scientists, they say, now what is this? The CLS has really made a lot of inroads with the environmental community by not treating them like that, by recognizing that soil science has a lot of important research questions. From a science or from a research program standpoint, having access to a synchrotron on campus uh, while being in a soil science department is really rare. And because it runs 24 hours a day and there are only a few coffee pots, then you get the opportunity to strike up conversations with people that are doing uh, life sciences or health research, they're doing fuel cell research, that are working on a lot of important questions. That kind of cross-pollination of ideas and collaborative spirit, I think that it's not only soil science that the CLS has been good at fostering a good community, I think it's a lot of different disciplines. The synchrotron is really a melting pot of cutting-edge experiments.